Let me start with something you said on Friday. You said on Friday, it could be that 10, 20, 30 years from now, people will look back at what happened in Nevada and say, this was the beginning of the political revolution. Obviously, the results didn't turn out the way you thought. What happened, sir? Well, what happened is, over the last five weeks, Chuck, we came from 25 points down to five points down. Uh, as I understand it, we actually won the Latino uh, vote yesterday, which is a big breakthrough for us. Uh, but the voter turnout was not as high as I had wanted. And what I've said over and over again, we will do well when young people, when working class people come out. We do not do well when the voter turnout is not large. We did not do as good a job as I had wanted uh, to bring out a large uh, turnout. You know, that the last minute uh, there were reports that Harry Reid and the Culinary Union were working to try to beef up turnout in places where Hillary Clinton was going to do well, including right there on the Strip in Las Vegas. Do you think that made a difference? It's hard to say, but what I do know um, is, Chuck, that our message of a rigged economy in which people in Nevada and around this country are working longer hours for low wages while almost all new income and wealth is going to the top 1%. And I'll tell you something else. This issue of a corrupt campaign finance system where big money interests in Wall Street are trying to buy elections, those are the issues that are resonating. Again, I wish we had had a larger voter turnout. But by the way, uh, we did phenomenally well with young people. Mm -hmm. I think we did well with working class people. Remember, we were taking on a candidate who ran in 2008. Uh, she knew Nevada a lot better than we did. She had the names of a lot of her supporters. So I'm proud of the campaign that we ran. Obviously, I wish we could have done a little bit better. But at the end of the day, I think she gets 19 delegates. We get 15 delegates. We move on to the next states. You know, it's interesting listening to her victory speech last night. I want to play a clip of it because it may sound familiar to you. Here it is. Wall Street can never be allowed to threaten Main Street again. No bank can be too big to fail. No executive too powerful to jail. It's pretty clear she has ratcheted up her rhetoric on Wall Street because of your candidacy. Do you see that as a, a, a victory of sorts, that you've got her trying well, Chuck, to compare your we're, message? We're looking into the copyright issues here. Those are <laughs> our words. <laughs> uh, well, obviously, I think what the secretary has recognized is the American people are extremely angry. Uh, about the power of Wall Street, the greed, the illegal behavior of Wall Street. And by the way, the fact that, you know, when a kid gets picked up with marijuana, that kid gets a police record, uh, Wall Street executives destroy the economy, there's no prosecution against them. The American people understand that we need real change in this country. In my view, a political revolution which says to the people on top, you know what, you guys can't have it all. You know, it's interesting. Uh, the guy who had the biggest super PAC of all time, had to drop out of the race. Jeb Bush outspent everybody. He arguably had more special interests supporting his candidacy. Isn't this the, isn't sort of the people already overturning Citizens United? Aren't, isn't your message and Donald Trump, who've done this without super PACs, isn't this already resonating? No, well, in, in some ways it is, but I think, you know, if you look at Jeb Bush's campaign, it's more than just money. It's, it's, it's the nature of the candidate and the message and all that stuff. But let me give you an example. Right now, uh, we have raised, as I understand it, Chuck, more contributions from uh, right. people than, than Hillary Clinton has, but she's now going into the super PAC that she has, uh, which comes from Wall Street and very wealthy individuals. She will be outspending us in the next number of, of weeks precisely because of that super PAC. Do these things matter? Yes, they do. Where are you going to win next? Uh, you've got to, you, you can't just come close. You're right, you came close in Nevada. But to win, you got to win. Are, in Super Tuesday, can you win a majority of the delegates on Super Tuesday? You don't have to win a majority of the states, well, but you need to win a majority of the delegates right. if you're going to win this thing. Right. Well, we're studying that issue very closely, obviously, as to where we allocate our resources and allocate my time. Uh, I think we have uh, a good shot in Colorado, uh, a good shot in Minnesota, uh, a good shot in Massachusetts. I think we are looking pretty good in Oklahoma. The last poll I saw in my own state of Vermont had us at 80 percent, so I, I think we got a shot to win there. Uh, and I think we will surprise people in some other states as well. You have to, don't you have to beat her in a place like Texas or Virginia or Tennessee, a big state, to say, you know what? I can yep. win this nomination. I can't just come close. Don't you have to do that? 
No, you're right. Look, look, at the end of the day, what you're saying is true. You need delegates. Uh, and as, as you know, these are state by state proportional, uh, proportional delegation, delegates uh, go out. We're, gonna, we're looking hard at Michigan. Uh, we think we have a pretty good shot at parts of Texas. So trust me, we are focusing very hard uh, on trying to get as many delegates uh, as we can. But let me also say this. Uh, we are in this race uh, to the convention. I think we got some states coming down the pike that we're going to do very, very well in. I think, you know, if you look at national polling, our support is growing. So we think, Chuck, we have come a very, very long way. I think the first time I was on your show, yep. we were probably at 5% in the polls. We're moving. We're making. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.